Hello, I'm Kate Berg of Cedarburg, Africa. Many people ask us, what's it like to be on a safari? How do I know if it's something I'll enjoy? So today we'll talk a little bit about a typical day on safari. Game drives take place in the early morning at sunrise and in the late afternoon. You usually head out with a 4x4 game vehicle with an experienced ranger. They'll be able to give you greater insight into the wildlife you're seeing and into the natural cycles of the bush. Words cannot describe the thrill of watching a leopard heading out on a hunt. The middle of the day is usually free for you to relax. Perhaps take a short bush walk with your ranger, enjoy a spot of more relaxed game viewing from your deck. Take a dip in the pool or enjoy a good book in the lounge. Depending on the lodge, sometimes other activities are on offer. Typically, the evening safari drive departs after tea. After enjoying the sundowners in the bush, the evening holds a sense of anticipation as the rare and elusive nocturnal species begin to hunt. Dinner is often enjoyed in a boma under a starlit sky or even in the bush around an open fire, which is an evocative highlight for many of our clients. Remember, safari lodges in prime game viewing areas with lots of predator activity will not be able to offer such a wide range of activities, but the quality of the game viewing more than makes up for this. Some insider tips for safari planning. We recommend two diverse safari locations within one trip. Ideally, these should be in two varying areas so that the terrain and the wildlife scene would be different. We also suggest that you combine one safari lodge where the focus is on game viewing by vehicle with another offering a wider range of activities. The latter may not have such a focus on the Big Five, but this allows them to offer other activities such as horse riding safaris, longer bushwalks, or even game viewing by mountain bike. Yeah,